place many of us go to see a doctor for a routine checkup or maybe an emergency could become the place you fill out a police report. That's right. The city of Knoxville confirming tonight they are considering the Physicians Regional Medical Center, formerly known as St. Mary's, as the new city police and fire headquarters. Now, the city had been working on a plan that would have brought the new headquarters to a portion of the Knoxville College site. But last month, we learned there were problems with that deal. The college was not successful in negotiations around its debt. About the time the deal was becoming unraveled, the city got a call from Tenova about the Physicians Regional Campus. Well, reporter Blake Stevens is on your side tonight. Blake joins us now live. So is this deal with the hospital likely to work out? Do we know tonight? Well, Kristen, that's going to depend on the cost. So far, the city has basically just gone out there to look at the square footage. Officials tell us there is enough room for police, fire, and city court. Along with square footage, they say its location off of Broadway is both good for police and firefighters, but they'll have to buy the hospital, renovate it, and even tear down parts of it. All of that is going to add up. Cindy Mills has enjoyed living next to a hospital, knowing it's there if there's an emergency, but she's excited about the idea of Knoxville police and fire moving in. Well, it'd be a lot more uh, comfortable for me. It'll be more security since I've got three grandkids. That security is important to her. Mills telling me her home has been broken into twice. Well, they knew my routine. Someone was cased at my house and uh, there'd be stuff stolen twice. The last time I broke the back door, they broke the deadbolt and my neighbor called them. They, but they ran off before the police was called. In a statement to Nova Healthcare telling us in part, future use of the East Oak Hill Avenue property has been an important part of Tenova's long-term planning to transition services from Physicians Regional Medical Center to other locations in the Knoxville region. That's another advantage to the city's possible $40 million investment. It keeps this building open. Instead of having an aging, vacant hospital, uh, in the middle of a neighborhood having activity, having uh, several hundred people that come to work every day that need to go eat lunch and just the eyes on the street. Mills hoping the deal works out so she can enjoy evenings on the porch even more. City leaders will continue working with Tenova, getting to the dollars and cents over the next 30 to 45 days, then they'll present their findings to the mayor. Deputy Mayor David Brace also says another advantage to moving to that hospital is how close it is to Fulton High School. He believes being next door could lead to more young recruits joining police and fire. And of course, we need them to keep our streets safe, guys. All right, Blake, good point. Thank you so much. Now, we learned back in the spring, you may recall, that the city is looking to replace the existing safety building on Howard Baker Jr. Boulevard near the Civic Coliseum. That site is now slated to house a new science museum.